All right, problem 49. Sarah is riding a Ferris wheel. Her sister Carrie starts a stopwatch and records some data. Let H represent Sarah's height above the ground at time T. Carrie notices that Sarah is at the highest point, 80 feet above the ground, when T equals 3 seconds. When T equals 7 seconds, Sarah is at the lowest point, 20 feet above the ground. Assume that the height H varies sinusoidally with time T. Write a trigonometric equation for the height of Sarah above the ground as a function of time. Okay. The amplitude, we know that the maximum is 80 and the minimum is 20. So amplitude is equal to the absolute value of max minus min or 80 minus 20 divided by 2. So the amplitude is 30. The period, I know that it takes 4 seconds to go from a high point to a low point. 4 seconds would represent half the period. So 8 seconds would be the period. So b is going to equal 2 pi over 8 which reduces to pi over 4. Because the first high point occurs at t equals 3 seconds, our phase shift is going to be 3. And the vertical shift is max plus min divided by 2, so 80 plus 20 divided by 2 is 50. So our equation, h of t equals 30 cosine pi over 4 times t minus 3 plus 50. That's the equation. Now, to answer the question, part B, what is the height Sarah will be uh, above the ground at t equals 11.5 seconds? Go to your calculator, y equals, and we want to plug in 30 cosine pi over 4 times x minus 3 plus 50, and let's see here, our window, oh, how about 0 to 12, 2 seconds is our scale, our minimum, once it goes 0 to 80, so I'm going to make it 0 to 100, make the scale by 10, and we graph it, just as good. So there's a picture of our writing the Ferris wheel. Okay, so they want to know the value at 11.5 seconds. So if you hit second trace, which is calc, value, hit enter for value, and you type in 11.5 and hit enter, it tells us that she is 77.7 .7 feet above the ground. So 77.7 seven one six feet above the ground. Now it says find the first two times t is greater than zero when the height of Sarah above the ground is seventy feet. So this is where we go to y equals and y two plug in seventy, graph it, and I want to find the intersection, these first two intersections. Those are the first two times that she is exactly seventy feet above the ground. So to find those second trace which is calc we wanted number five is the intersection you trace put your cursor until it's close to the intersection you hit enter 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 and it tells us the first intersection occurs at 1.929 seconds to find the second intersection you repeat the procedure. Second trace, which is calc, number five, arrow over until you get the cursor close to the intersection. Hit enter, 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 and it tells us the second intersection is 4.071 seconds.